Um, Chris, it was a, a second debut for, you, for Bohemians, and for you personally, I suppose it was quite a successful one. Yeah, I mean, successful would have been three points for sure, but on a personal note, I said to myself, first game back, I just wanted to get back in the groove of things, get a goal or an assist, just a crack off the mark. Thankfully, Prom had a good finish on the second goal. It was a good build-up from us. Um, and I think, you know what, there was, there was loads of positives, especially in the first half, but I think we just kind of tapered out. Maybe it was the first 90 minutes just gelling things together. But I think there's, there's definitely loads of positives, and you can feel a good chemistry in the group off the pitch aside from today. Definitely. Were you happy, I suppose, to be back in what you might consider your natural position? I know you were played a little bit deeper in your clubs previously. Yeah. You're back on the wing now. Yeah, so I was playing uh, some, some right back. Uh, I even actually had one game, if you can believe it, at centre-back. Whenever the center you have back, the height. <laughs> when the centre-back got injured. Um, but yeah, you know, it was, it was a lot different in the East Central European countries, you know, Poland and Slovakia. They have kind of inverted wingers. And uh, that fullback role suited me where I could get up and down the flanks, kind of similar to what, what you get at what I would give at Bowes here. Um, and you got, you got the assist today. Is there any kind of numbers, that, targets that you like to set yourself at the start of a season or you just like to take the season as it comes? Uh, you know what? I think, I think, you know what, to be honest with you, I do have kind of numbers. I'll keep them personal in the head. So I, uh, but you know what? I would, I'm always ambitious. Every game I want to get an assist or, or a goal. I, every game I expect to, to create something, it's just... It's just uh, how you have to be as a winger. You want to you be creative. You want to influence the team positively. So, so, yeah, I think every game you have to go in with the mindset that you're going to get one. And it's going to be a, a competitive position of yours over the course of the season. There's some fantastic talent in there, so you're going to have to keep up those performances to make sure you keep your place in the squad. Yeah, like anything. I mean, even when, we were, was I, when I was here last year, we had Danny Grant, Luke Waits later. You know, there's, Bose is known for good wingers, good direct team. So loads of promising boys in there, uh, junior Liam Bird obviously had a great year last year. Stephen Mallon did well tonight. So, yeah, there's, 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 it's a long season. Things will change. And uh, ultimately, it's just about everyone stepping up to do their role whenever they're called upon. And just a quick glance to Monday's game. It's obviously a very quick turnaround. So what will the preparation be for, like for yourself before Pats on Monday? You know what? I think, I think the biggest thing for us is just, you know, Trev said it, live like monks. You know, you have to, you have to look after yourself, sleep, eat right. Uh, you know, we would, we would look to do that on a day-in, day-out day basis anyway. So um, the biggest thing is just ultimately on a quick turnaround Friday to Monday, you have to put the last game behind you and move on to the next one. So so my mind's already on Monday. Well, congrats on the performance tonight, Chris, and we'll see you again on Monday. Thanks.